So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to jump into a demo. We're going to take a look at my Mac laptop and I'm going to install from a fresh clean Mac laptop, OpenHab. Okay, so installing OpenHab is really simple. What we're going to do is fire up a browser. We're going to go to openhab.org. Um, from there, you can navigate into the documentation section and the user manual. The documentation on the OpenHab site has improved just as much as the product recently. Uh, like I said, they've really put an emphasis on trying to polish this up and make sure that anyone can get in and run OpenHab. Uh, so you'll see that all the details are there for, from an overview to running Linux, Windows, Mac OS, uh, and pretty much all the details right down to running it on a Raspberry Pi, uh, Synergy, Synology, Disk Station, and some of the other options that you have available for running OpenHab. And uh, you can read through the instructions here, but really simply, if you click on the link at the top, it's going to take you to another website to allow you to download the newest version of OpenHab. Um, Right now, this is OpenHab 2.1.0, it's a snapshot. Uh, and you can go ahead and download whatever the current version is when you go to install this. Um, that is the most up-to-date version of OpenHab. Now, the other thing that we need to do, and the only other requirement for OpenHab, is install a Java, S or Java JDK. Uh, Zulu is the current recommended option by OpenHab, and it's, to be honest, the easiest way to get this done. Go ahead and click on the link and then the download Zulu link. Very quickly you can decide Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Of course we're doing Mac OS today. Click on that. You'll see that the most recent version 8 supports Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite and Mavericks. And I chose to do the DMG today for uh, the install. So go ahead and click that link and download that to your computer. At this point you should notice that you've got uh, two downloads in your downloads directory, the Zulu and the OpenHab download. Go ahead and double click on Zulu. That's going to open up uh, the DMG on your computer and mount that volume. And it'll open up the installer to allow us to start the installation for Zulu. Zulu is really simple. We're just going to double click that installer. And that's going to start off and running. It is going to ask you for your username and your password just because uh, Mac does that anytime you want to install software. and it'll zip through the installation fairly quickly. When it's done, you can go ahead and say complete and close down those windows. Now you can go ahead, close down all the windows and the web tabs and everything back to the OpenHab documentation site. Back into the user manual just so we can take a look at the next steps. And now what you're going to want to do is double click on the OpenHab snapshot file, the zip file, which will extract into that directory. Uh, you can put this anywhere you like, but I'm going to leave it there for the time being just to show you how really simple this is to, to get set up. Uh, the next step is the one thing that may be considered a little bit tacky, but that is opening up a terminal. Uh, a terminal is the command line interface on a Mac. Uh, most Mac users tend to stick away from this, but it is the underlying uh, operating system. There's other ways to go ahead and configure this in the future so that you don't need to do this, but to be honest, stick with me. It's really simple to do. and. Uh, once this is done, it's all going to be a web interface. So to open up the terminal, what you're going to want to do is just do a search on your computer, type terminal, and enter. It's going to open up a little window. You'll know you're in the terminal. And what you can do is go back over to the, the download file uh, in the directory that you just extracted, the OpenHab 2.1.0 snapshot and just drag the file start.sh into that terminal window. And what that's going to do is just copy the location of that file into the window. Once that's done, you hit enter and you're going to get a launching the OpenHab runtime. And to be honest, this is pretty much it. At this point, you've now installed OpenHab. It is doing its first boot on the computer. And from this point on, we're going to be able to use the web browser to configure and set up OpenHab. So that's it. You're going to want to keep that terminal window open in the background. Um, that is it running. If you were to close that window, you'd actually shut down OpenHab. So pretty, make sure you leave that one open. 
Now back to the browser and you type localhost 8080. Uh, 8080 is the port number that's running on. And OpenHab is going to present you with a very quick screen here uh, for setup. And this is only going to happen the first time you ever run it. It's going to give you the option of uh, simple, standard, expert, and demo. And this alone is another example of how much they've gone to actually uh, improve upon the look of the website and the, the end user. Uh, this type of thing was never there in the past, but they've, they've added this now for, uh, for users to try to attract a, a wider use space or a wider, wider base of people to use OpenHab. I'm going to suggest uh, going ahead here and clicking on the standard uh, setup. This is pretty much the recommended one. And OpenHab is going to jump into a little thing and start configuring things for you. Now, if you want, you can jump back over to the terminal window and pretty much the only thing you need to do here is just type log with a full colon and then tail. Um, and we can go through some of these commands in a, in a later video, but really all this does is it opens up an input window that's going to show you exactly what's going on in the background of OpenHab. And there in the background we just saw that the web page popped back and it has welcomed us to OpenHab 2. And what we see here are the three basic interfaces that are installed uh, in OpenHab. There are some others that we can look at later. Paper UI is the official uh, user interface that we have. Hab panel is a very cool uh, touch panel kind of information um, interface that's installed. You can use this to have on a touch screen or a tablet to control all of your, your items. And basic UI is a very simple way to uh, set up um, a user interface for OpenHab. So that is pretty much it. Go ahead, uh, take a look around, go into OpenHub. This is where you can actually start some searching. Again, we're going to look at that in the next video, but uh, feel free to poke around. You noticed how easy that all was to set up, so there's really not much you could do here. Worst case scenario, you just go back to your downloads folder, delete that OpenHub directory, uh, extract the file again, and you could start all over from scratch. It's really that simple. So keep in mind, we've installed this on a Mac. Um, you can do the same thing for a PC or for a Linux machine. And we also have those options of Raspberry Pi and Synology uh, Disk Station. There's Docker formats, lots of other ways we can do it. So that's it. Up and running in about five minutes, quicker than it would take you to run to any big box store or order it from Amazon. So this gives you a really easy way to take a look, see how home automation works see how it detects any devices you might have around your house right now and get up and running pretty quick. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. That's going to motivate me to make some more of these videos and it's something I'd really like to do. Please hit the subscribe button. That way you'll know when I've got new videos coming out. If you have been an enthusiast or you have worked with home automation for years and you have some comments or something you'd like to add, something I missed, something else you think I should take a look at, Add them in the comments below. Really like to get a conversation going. And I think we can build a community here that's going to help us improve our home automation projects. Thanks for watching.